In this video we're going to be having a look at some rational functions. So for the purposes of A-level maths, a rational function is a function much like one you see in this exam question here, with fractions involving algebra. So let's have a look at this first question, part 1. Okay, so we've got 2 over 3 minus x plus 3 over 1 plus x. And we're asked to write that as a single fraction in simplest form. Well, the first thing we need to do is decide on a denominator. We want the lowest common denominator of these two numbers, or rather the lowest common factor. The lowest common factor is obtained by multiplying the two of them together, since currently they have no factors in common. There we go. So what we need to do now, we'll multiply this by 1 plus x. So we're going to multiply the top by 1 plus x as well. Then there's a plus sign. We we'll multiply this side by 3 minus x. So that's exactly what we're going to do to the top. Equals, okay. Multiply out the brackets on the top. 2 plus 2x plus 9 minus 3x over. And if something's fully factorised, we should never multiply it out. That's usually a waste of time. So we'll leave that on the bottom there as it is. Then finally, simplifying. 2 plus 9 is 11, combine the x's to make minus x, over 3 minus x, 1 plus x, and that's the answer. Okay, part 2, following on from that. It says hence, and that word hence is important, it means that the previous part's answer should be of some help here. Well, we can see that that expression there needs to be uh, expressed as a single fraction in the lowest terms. We can see that the first part of that in the brackets was the question that we just simplified in part 1. So actually we can rewrite that as 11 minus x over and the answer was 3 minus x 1 plus x and that's multiplied by x squared plus 8x minus 33 over 121 minus x squared. So at this point, hopefully you notice that we can factorise the top. And in all questions like this, factorisation is the key. Simplify it in such a way that things start to cancel out. So let's rewrite the line out. But having factorised, 3 minus x, 1 plus x times... And the top factorises to x plus 11, x minus 3. And hopefully you notice the bottom is the difference of two squares. So 11 plus x, 11 minus x. And let's start to see things cancel. I can see that the 11 minus x there cancels with the 1 there. And I can't see anything else yet that obviously cancels. Oh no, wait. There's the x plus 11 there, and there's the 11 plus x there. Both are exactly the same thing. Both are x plus 11. They'll cancel. Okay, so that gives us x minus 3 over 3 minus x, 1 plus x. And the next bit's a little bit sneaky, because if we take out a factor of minus 1 on top, That turns that from x minus 3 to minus x plus 3 over 3 minus x, 1 plus x. And notice, 3 minus x on top, 3 minus x on the bottom, they cancel to give minus 1 over 1 plus x. Quite tricky finish to what seemed initially like a straightforward question. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.